Okay. I believe... Nope. No cutscene. Um, one thing to notice is that I'm pretty sure they use the same footage for the outdoor scenes, but use a blue filter to simulate night. Uh, and it just, as you get later in the day, it just gets bluer and bluer and bluer. Not 100% convinced how effective that is but doesn't work too bad here I guess I don't know and I like that they have instead of a still photo it's actually you can see the plants moving it's actually like a little video I guess on a loop there it is yeah it might just be a hmm Hard to tell. Could just be a very, uh, like a loop with a good seam or like wound and wound backwards to play forward and backwards so you can't really tell. Anyways, it's a nice touch that they're not using still photos. They could have, and it wouldn't have taken anything away from it, but adding it in makes it a nice touch, I think. Questions, please. Okay. So here. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> That's the worst smile. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. It's, it's like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> hmm. Keep your day job. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. Okay. Were you at Atlas when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. It was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just have wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise people to keep their valuables with them. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. So true. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> it's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector. And sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad. It's not too debilitating. It's mainly uh, some in my right hand, yes, yes. some in my left hand. Yes, yes. It's not particularly a problem. Uh, it makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for it? I uh, get a prescription painkiller. How often do you need that? Not often, as and when, as and when. I keep some here, I keep some at home. It's not a problem. Okay, so he keeps painkillers here. If we go back to uh, this one, it doesn't keep medicines on site. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas? No. Except your prescription painkillers? Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site? Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> Painkillers, uh, just painkillers, normal painkillers. Paracetamol, codeine, morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. 
sure about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Uh, so he's just told us we keep the morphine in a secure storeroom. But he also told us that the storeroom isn't particularly secure. Ah. Da -da. So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. I keep them in there. Ooh. Okay. So Can where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. A combination locked room, I see. Well, I might have a look around for that. See how secure and combination locked it really is. So now we have access to the upstairs. And up there... is this. With a combination lock. And... Combination locks have combinations. Welcome to the mirror room. This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. Bruce Lee's in here somewhere. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. Chant with us. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. Seriously, man, come on. You can see yourself. I am free from myself. I am free from myself. This exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. Module two covers boundary testing, threshold testing, and extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before attempting the module. Well, well. Boop, 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 boop. Let's just pop in and ask Ryan ask about you a couple more things, please. Go. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. <clears throat> <laughs> well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. Durr. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. And you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. So why in a locked room? To make sure uh, you're not distracted, that's all. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. Okay. Uh, that's it for the time being, thank you. So now I'm particularly interested, well... Before I'm interested, let me... Still now. We find that juicy cutscene. Um, we'll find out more about Simon. A few more questions. This room. Uh, so, can I ask about arthritis? Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. Oh, I didn't know. 
I've noticed he had any problems. But here's the real kicker. Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. It's useful. But it's mainly for the auto-hypnosis module. Uh, you go in and you stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. You don't know the combination? No. Well, now that's just a total fib. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? No. Except you'd written it down, hadn't you? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Check you. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me suspicious, Simon. But delicious. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, find out. It's just part of the course, isn't it? I just, I just wanted to go in there when I was ready. On your own? You didn't give a number to anyone else? No. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morph in. What do you mean, trying to outdo each other? It's part of the course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. 